549 on your Wednesday morning, 61 degrees and a whole lot of rain here in the metro. The rain extends from southern Minnesota down in the northern Missouri, crossing the I-35 corridor, starting to lighten up a bit in western Iowa, where they've already had a whole lot of rain. Metro, the heaviest rain right now, right over the west, mixed master, that area there in red. It's picking up on the east side. You're getting the movement on this, too, as it sweeps off to the northeast. So here's that band of rain moving on through. This kind of the first wave along a frontal boundary. There's still some energy out west that has to kick on through. And we're seeing some snow again today. Today, though, out in Wyoming and Montana in the Bighorn Mountains and the Wind River Range. Here's that area of uh, that frontal boundary that'll move on through. And then this enhances the rain again as we head in through tonight and especially on Thursday. This front is the front that'll be responsible for much colder air and a whole lot of wind on Friday. But here's our future cast doing a good job showing you the movement. It looks like it'll end early afternoon for most of us. I think, though, it will hang on in southeastern Iowa and be awfully close to the metro, but the heaviest rain later today and through the evening will be in southeastern Iowa. Then we'll all get a break overnight. Thursday starts out dry, and then more rain rolls on in Thursday afternoon with the heaviest rain in southeastern Iowa, and then this system slowly pulls on out. These rainfall amounts are impressive. We're already getting reports in western Iowa with two inches of rain, and I think by the time this is all said and done, two inches of rain possible in southeastern Iowa with well over an inch and a half here in the metro. Today, 73 degrees, the rain heaviest before noon. Southeast winds 5 to 10. Tonight, just scattered showers, a better chance of rain to the southeast. The low at 62. More rain on the way Thursday. Looks to be afternoon and evening, 71. Friday, these would just be some showers that develop during the afternoon heating. Not that there's going to be a lot of heating at 52. The other thing I want to point out, it really starting to look like we're going to mix some wind down from aloft, and we could get some wind gusts in the metro at 40, higher gusts out of town. Saturday, 56, that's going to be chilly. Sunday, 67, and thankfully some dry weather and a little bit of a warm-up next week.